yo welcome back to my channel so last year i made this video of this brown soap and the comment section was wow so many questions i decided to repeat uh something close to that receipt and try to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me in the comment section so right now what i did was just to dissolve my caustic soda with the hot water and we'll be using the caustic soda while it is still hot. You don't need to wait for it to cool down. So immediately after dissolving, just set it aside. We'll be making use of it instantly. You don't need to soak your uh, caustic soda for the next day. And then the oil in question that I'm using is tallow. Tallow is animal fat. You get it from the slaughterhouse where they sell cow beef, cow, cow meat. The fat that they put aside, you have to buy it from them, render it, and extract the oil. Once it is cool, tallow, tallow tends to be in a solid state, just like butter. So it has to be warm or hot to warm or warm to hot for it to be in liquid state. So that is what I'm making use of. This recipe fits perfectly for tallow because of the fatty acid profile of uh, tallow. Tallow has a kind of special property to it and that is why it fits in perfectly to this recipe without me needing steric acid to it so many persons asked me in the comment section can i use from can or you to do this can i use a bleach palm or you to do this i would just tell you please guys once you see somebody formulate a recipe once you see me formulate a recipe and drop on youtube just know that i've actually tested that recipe in different ways before i actually put it up on youtube it is actually beautiful for you to try out the recipe the way it is exactly before you start tweaking the recipe to suit you so that if you have any differences in the outcome you get you will know where the problem is coming from whether it is from the oil you changed or from the whatever components that you touched right now what i'm adding is ethanol so i particularly use ethanol even if you want to add in any other oil it has to be in a small quantity this is this sugar i dissolve sugar in water and this is the second solvent I'm adding. In this particular recipe, I'm not making use of glycerin because somebody asked me in the comment section, can I make it without glycerin? I don't have glycerin in my country. The person said that the person stay, say, stays in, a, in Mali. So for that reason, I'm removing glycerin to show you that glycerin is also another form of sugar. Once you see somebody add glycerin or sugar in soap, it just offers the same effects just offers the same effect and also we are using it to actually help us to clear out the soap and make the soap to be transparent and all the granules dilute perfectly like i said tallow is best fit for this recipe because of it is loaded with with uh, steric acid we all know the persons that know tallow or you knows it to be hard it's not a soft oil like palm kernel oil there is nothing you can make do palm kernel oil and, and you see it in a solid form at a normal temperature at 7 degrees centigrade, centigrade um, palm kernel oil is, is at liquid state it is, it is in liquid form it's not the same thing with tallow tallow has its own property oils are selected based on their properties and these attributes, they come, they, we, we bring it together to give us the soap, the outcome that you, you want to get. I may decide to have another outcome in this soap and I have to tweak the recipe and tweak my oils. The oils, the procedure, the quantity of the chemicals used, everything falls in line to having the, a, a perfect soap, to having the soap outcome that you have in mind. I hope you, go, you, you guys get me. So please work with the recipe the way you see it before you start altering the recipe because of maybe unavailability of some of the chemicals that was listed this is a very simple multi-purpose soap it's multi-purpose somebody asked me can i use it and bait of course you can if i subtract it like a 50 ml of my oil quantity and replace it with a castor oil I can actually use it and bait. You want to use it and wash your, your, your laundry clothes? Of course you can. Mind you, multipurpose soaps are made to be able to suit the skin and also to suit uh, other functions at home. There is no soda ash in this recipe. 
take notes i did not add any soda ash in this recipe i just made my soap which is oil caustic soda and water and then added in solvents to help me to clear the soap which are ethanol and i also made use of sugar solution and then i went in and added my fragrance then because tallow does not foam or ladder you have to support it with a foaming booster you can dissolve a little bit of sls in water and add it to the soap to help and boost your foaming properties i hope i've explained to some extent and you have understood to some extent why this recipe is the way it is you can actually scoop out all this foam or you put like alcohol in a spray bottle and spray on the surface of your soap and you see all of them will disappear a little bit of alcohol will burst all these bubbles or you can just leave it once the soap is ready please you can just trim it off make sure that the mold you are using is covered properly at both ends someone told me this is the recipe you can make a screenshot of it someone contacted me on whatsapp and told me that she wasted the recipe i said what happened is it that the recipe was bad she said no that the the mold she was trying to use the pvc mold that she was trying to use was open at both ends which caused her watery butter to leak out but by the time she came back everything was all leaked out madam hassan please don't make that mistake by now we should all know what we are dealing with if your butter is fluidy you have to make sure if if please just use a plastic bowl you use in your fridge use an use an ice cream plate please 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 just don't use a normal mold and then you ensure loss and you start messaging me on whatsapp as if i'm the person that cost you the loss Thank you guys. So this, this is the outcome of the soap after cutting it. You can see how beautiful it looks like. Mind you, there are different colors of beef fat, which is called tallow, out there. Because of this, your outcomes will always be different from the person next to you. You may have more of a darker, a deeper golden color. Some may have a very lighter shade. All I'm saying is the oil color you are using will also affect your appearance at the end. If you notice this soap particularly very well, the one with glycerin is actually clearer and even more transparent than this one without glycerin. You can also increase the sugar quantity to actually augment for the whole glycerin that was not used in this particular recipe. So this is a very sweet recipe. You can all save it. These are among the recipes that most of us pay for here online.